Hi friends, welcome back to another Know Your Role. Today, we're looking at artillerist. So, this is the best way to welcome somebody to America. Giant guns, nuclear explosions. All we need is the cheeseburgers. Let's check it out. One of the most important things I like to tell new artillerist players is, artillerist is very difficult at high levels. Super simple at low levels because Chances are people don't know what to look for and they're just getting hit by random nukes. But if you wanna be successful on artillerist, you have to know your positioning in team fights. You have to know how to play in the arena and you have to be very mindful of how to outplay and outsmart your opponents because artillerist is kind of weak, unfortunately. It's a very fun class to play because you're blowing people up and you're doing super crazy damage when you are available to do so, but they do not absorb pressure well. They can be pressured because they are not mobile, but we're gonna try and figure out how to get around that. Now, some instances I see a lot with this class is that in the higher levels, people are always ready to auto attack when you're about to Gatling gun. So you have to be very mindful of when you're going to Gatling gun and force situations that people aren't ready for. If they're gonna try and auto attack through your Gatling gun combo, why don't you start off the Gatling gun, immediately roll, and go into a stun as soon as they start their auto attacks to try and get out of Gatling gun. This situation gives you so much more pick potential because if they're gonna start their roll or, or they're gonna start their auto attack, but they don't have roll up or they're scared they don't have their mobility up or they react slowly, you're already getting them with a 50% damage combo. This is important. Also, keep in mind that they are decently tanky when they have their shield up and it is tier two immune, so they cannot be knocked up while they have their shield up, but they can be CC'd very, very easily because Gatling gun isn't hard stagger, it's a soft stagger. Somebody can dash up and just immediately throw down a skill and stun you while you have your shield up. So you gotta be very, very mindful of where people are on the battlefield, what range characters are available, if there's a soul fist on the field, if there's a shadow hunter on the field that's ready to snipe you with their stun as well. These are things you gotta be aware of. Keep your roll ready, keep your, your shield ready until you're ready to pump out some damage, right? Roll in, grab your stun, activate shield, start throwing down missiles, know your combo, start howitzering people, and also be very mindful of where their support is during this situation. I've seen a lot of artillerists that just start blowing their combo immediately as soon as they get a stun. And me, playing a paladin, I just throw down God Sent Law and you've wasted four skills and I've traded one and I've saved my teammates and you maybe did 3K damage. You gotta be very aware of this. Now the whole situation could change if you see that and you throw an air raid in their direction, they don't get the full potential or you throw a howitzer in their direction, they get knocked up. This is stuff that you can use to actually get damage on targets that are trying to save their teammate. Bard has Rhapsody of Light and very similar to God Sent Law, can absolutely shut down a whole blaster combo, a whole artillerist combo. <laughs> to talk about the capabilities of something like Air Raid, it does not show on the opponent's vision where Air Raid is going, whereas something like Homing Barrage does. So keep that in mind, you could throw up an air raid in a direction that you think the opponent is going to be standing, get a free 19 to 25,000 damage on somebody. It's also incredibly good as a poke tool. Don't be afraid to use it because you don't always have to use it in your combo for the maximum damage. Sometimes you just wanna do your fast combo and get out. Another thing, when you do enter identity and you go into turret mode, you have another shield in that mode, so it's not shared cooldown with energy shield. So you can throw on an energy shield to save yourself later in a fight, you're getting low, and then you have your identity up, you go into turret form, you throw up another shield, and people are just trying so hard to get through you, and then you just start blasting them back with bombardment focus fire or bombardment energy cannon. And lastly, I wanted to touch on awakenings. Now, the Artillerist Awakening is a very unique awakening in that it's such a stationary turret, and while the blaster is also a stationary turret <laughs> in its identity, this turret doesn't do a great deal of damage unless the person's already stunned and then it activates, and it has like a five second activation. So the problem here is we run into a situation where this awakening is weak, and I'm sorry to say it, but 
you can use it to immune a tier 3 CC and get out of a situation. When the heavy turret lands on the ground, it does have a knockback component on that. So keep that in mind. Defensive ults are really strong on Artillerist because chances are nobody's expecting it. Friends, we've been watching Lin. Make sure you follow Lin now on Twitch. Dude's an absolute genius of the game. Very smart player, he's gonna be playing on EU. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the next Know Your Role. We're learning.